Okay, then let's begin with the first chapter, the overview of electronic commerce. And once again, this is Zubia, your instructor for this course. We are now entering the first, uh, like I said, I don't like to say chapters. I like to refer this as topics because, you know, we are, we are in a very dynamic time right now. We are in a time where a lot is happening. Changes are happening at lightning speed. If you've heard of the word very, very large scale integration, it means that, you know, uh, technology is advancing at such amazing, astounding speeds that, you know, something that was in today is obsolete tomorrow. So we, which is why I want to, I want to take this uh, topic approach rather than the chapter approach to make this uh, the, the addition of topics more recent. For example, if during the teaching of this course I come across with some latest uh, website, some kind of service that is available that is innovative and I want to share it with you, I want to include it in the topic while I'm teaching because I want to make this course as recent and current as possible. So when you enter this course's first topic, one of the first introductory topics, we talk about the overview of electronic commerce and just like I said before, this uh, topic is all about getting a bird's eye view. So you will be pretty much uh, talking about what the electronic commerce looks at looks like from a glance at a glance. Okay, going to the uh, next page I have here, um, it says here that in this course in this first few topics that you'll be talking about with me you have five learning objectives and by the time you finish this topic i will be presenting you with some questions and uh, that are related to these learning objectives for example i may ask you questions that please define electronic commerce and describes its various categories okay you should be able to describe the various categories with 100 percent accuracy that means you have achieved the first learning objective of this topic the overview describe and discuss the content and framework of electronic commerce and then you would be asked to describe the major types of electronic commerce transactions then describe discuss the e-commerce 2.0 and describe social commerce and social software which means towards the end of this entire topic or the chapter we will come across a case study and you will be asked to apply these learning objectives to the case study so when i reach towards the end of this topic the overview I will do the overview in several series okay I might have I will have seven or eight overview series in which you you will be you know listening to 15 15 minute lecture at a time and towards the end of the overview series I will have a case and I will have a question a set of questions for you to work on okay so the this would if you feel that you have done those questions you have you are able to apply uh, your knowledge easily in the case study you are ready to move to the next chapter okay you're going to take it like that then we have the remaining learning objectives which say that understand the elements of the digital world and this, uh, describe the drivers of electronic commerce as they relate to business business pressures and organizational responses again i'm going to stress here electronic commerce is all about your own location your own organization your own geographic uh, backdrop wherever you're located electronic commerce will be applied based on the factors and elements affecting your business environment okay so please be mindful of that Describe some electronic commerce business models. Now, when you use these, uh, the description of electronic commerce business models, I want you to remember that if you have a famous uh, business in your location, we can talk about that. A famous um, e-business, you know, uh, organization that has been doing very well, or has recently gone down due to some reason, or has been shut down due to some reasons. What were the reasons? what were the repercussions what were the consequences and what were the you know uh, the excellent decisions taken by the experts 
So you should be able to appreciate as well as evaluate all of them. Describe the benefits of electronic commerce to organizations, consumers, and society. Like you should be able to describe how electron that particular business and that particular region changed the quality of life of the people consuming their business. That is the ultimate goal of any electronic commerce business that you should be able to improve lives. List and describe the major limitations of electronic commerce. Okay, on to the first page here, the first topic, it says electronic commerce. It is the process of buying, selling or exchanging products. That is the basic definition of electronic commerce. The process of buying, selling or exchanging products, services or information via computer. Okay. So what is e-business? A broader definition of electronic commerce that includes not just the buying and selling of goods and services, but also servicing customers, collaborating with business partners and conducting electronic transactions within an organization. Okay, let me give you a big picture here. Just take a look at this, Amazon.com. And look at this, the way they have put up their products out there. This is a very upcoming website. Okay, Amazon.com is very famous in the United States. It's famous in Canada and Australia and many other countries. Amazon.com is a very famous marketplace, electronic marketplace. Okay, and notice how they have come up with this uh, Father's Day is June 19. Okay, and the sponsor's name is given here as well and uh, just giving you a big picture you may have you may have seen many many electronic commerce or online stores like these but what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to help you differentiate the minute details that you have been missing out okay as a consumer as a casual visitor to the website you might not notice a lot of things but and and they might also these things are very important for you to notice because they they explain the authenticity of the website so what i'm trying to say here is if you look at the website here uh, they have already started marketing with this cool uh, drill machine i think that's what it is and then hello sign in and you you can sign in you have your own account your orders your lists your recommendations you your subscribe and save items all of these are tell us that this is an electronic commerce website okay try prime get early access to thousands of items with amazon prime okay and that means that you become like a preferred customer it's like you know uh, when you go to a store and they tell you that hey uh, come back again just give us your telephone number or your mobile number we will get in touch with you and if there are any offers or any sales you'll be the first person that we will we'll let you know okay of the latest offer so that's exactly what it is in the online environment so if if, if you look at the uh, you know business processes or the patterns in an electronic commerce environment you would see a lot of similarities with the brick with the real brick and mortar uh, shops you would see a lot of similarities okay so this is one of them lists create a list find a list or a registry find a gift these are the lists for example um okay there is this famous trend in the western countries where they go to a website and they register with a website a gift website and they create a list okay and in this list it's like a wish list and in this list they 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 just can simply add products for example they will add a product like for example they would just whatever for example it's if, if they are expecting a baby they would go ahead and add all the items that they need for their baby okay and this list is shared with all the guests that are invited to the party or the baby shower and and many other occasions like for example kids birthday parties or school lists or pantry lists or whatever that you have you just create a list up there and then you share it with the participants and whoever is receiving will uh, will be notified that somebody just purchased this thing off your list so that that thing would be taken off from the list and this is a very famous way very uh, it's a very popular way 
of uh, gift giving in the western countries that they tell you uh, the uh, the people who invite you they tell you that this is what they need and the others they simply fulfill your needs so that there are no instances of uh, same gifts coming up and no need to exchange or return gifts that you don't need so it's like an efficient process and what's making it possible is the electronic commerce environment then you have a cart here and your amazon your amazon.com which means that this is a very customized uh, way approach to uh, to sell uh, sell items to you okay for example if i go here down this list and i go directly to the sh shop women's dresses okay and what this is doing for me here is i okay i'm looking for something to wear to work okay and i see all these dresses here all i need to do is just simply click on a dress and they would get an idea that what kind of dresses are like okay for example i am looking for something okay if i just simply go ahead and click on something like this and what they would do is the price is given right here and then frequently bought together people who bought this notice how the details they're giving in the price people who bought this also bought this okay and what i'm trying to do here is i'm trying to explain that the website is immediately working hard immediately working hard to try to analyze me okay the website is trying to analyze me so that they would advertise they would put up advertisements in the same way okay and all the related items are showing up and the next time i visit the site they would say you liked like they, they're trying to find out what kind of taste i have so they say that if you like these things you may also like the other things that we have available okay and if this any of one of these categories go on sale they will notify me okay and here's the today's deals okay any one of these items for example if i go directly here they would know that she's looking for it's a female and she's looking for uh um, items for her home homeware and then they would try to you know give me more similar items okay the more pages i click on amazon.com the more idea more personality idea i'm giving to this company and they're trying to make out what i am what i like and they try to sell me things according to my personality similarly we have ebay okay ebay is another another very famous electronic commerce website notice how they have created this website and notice the layout it is very upcoming okay you have the image slider here right in the middle of the page and you just click on it and you're able to see all the items that they have available okay usually what happens is in stores like these you find electronic items at, at, at a much reduced price okay for example if you're looking for an ipad pro and this is the price that you have okay many times when you register what happens for example this is dollars I don't need something in dollars I need something in you know UA their homes or rupees or whatever I have wherever I live I have the capacity to change the price and the prices are given in the local currency now the price given here is around eight hundred dollars which is about the same as what you get in the store but but the thing is if these get on sale you do not find these kind of sales in the store okay for example save ten dollars for every three items you buy that's another sale they make you buy more but they give you nice discounts at the same time okay and these are the product details for people who think that uh, online shopping is a bogus thing you don't have any idea that you know what you're looking at whether you would like a product you wouldn't like a product for those people you know they have created these amazing experiences with 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 extreme details of the product four speaker audio listen and you'll see like you know this is like an interactive app that they have available all you need to do is just click and get an idea what you're listening to 
So it's like engaging the customer with the five senses, which is practically impossible in the online environment, but they try to do that. So what I'm trying to say is that if you create an e-commerce website, you have to think of these things. These are best practices. These are, these are the giants. These are the conglomerates. These are the best in their game. So you need to copy them, which means you need to benchmark them. Okay. And another one that I have here is the Barnes & Noble bookstore. Okay, notice that the news, latest news is given out. The website is always current. It is always latest. And when you go all the way back, all the way down, you would always see the last updated date. I don't see it here. Maybe, okay. You always find that this site was last updated and so and so date, which tells you how current and recent the website is. Okay. And then I have a website that is again eBay, but this is a bidding website. Okay, you bid, you bid your prices. You tell the website that you have a deal here, for example. I'm just giving you an overview of what e-commerce e websites of today look like. Okay, for example, if this is an Apple MacBook Pro with Retina display. It's it was fifteen hundred dollars. Now it's twelve hundred dollars, and what you can do is, you can bid a price. You have to register to the website, and you have to put your price. If nobody nobody beats your price, there is an upward bidding and there is a downward bidding depending on what's going on. If nobody beats your price, the price is yours. You have a certain amount of time to tie the price and purchase the item. So you buy at your own price. Okay. Similarly, we have something like this in UAE. It's called Emirates Auction. Okay. For example, you can auction property. You can auction auction cars, horses. Okay. And there are many license plates. There are many things out there that you can auction. We'll talk more about that when we get into that chapter. Okay. So this is what electronic commerce is all about. It's a process of buying and selling or exchanging products or services or information via the computer. Okay, up next in the next video, I'm going to be talking about electronic commerce, more definitions and concepts. Okay, this is a brief overview. I hope you enjoy the video. See you in the next series. Uh, it's the continuation of the overview, but we're going to be talking about more definitions and more concepts.